Hi, my name is Andrew. I'm building a 12 and a half meter catamaran from scratch and I want to do a quick video on one of the things I get the most questions about which is here my homemade CNC machine. Um, so yeah, this I built myself out of 8020 aluminum extrusion you can see here and some custom plywood parts, some uh, stepper motor drivers, some stepper motors and the, and the wood router. Um, so it's not anything too complicated going on. I know it looks like a crazy robot machine, uh, but it's actually pretty simple. So I'll take you through some of the basic sort of software and equipment I'm using. So this here, this program, it's called Universal G-Code Platform. I've also heard it called Universal G-Code Sender, if you Google that. And that's basically the open source program that I use that which takes the G-Code from your CAM program. I use Fusion 360. That's what um, takes the G-Code and sends it to the Arduino. Um, yeah, the Arduino right here by the floor. It's maybe not the best spot for them. That's where I mounted them for now at least. And it's a bit of a mess of wires. I didn't do such a professional job um, organizing everything, but hopefully it passes enough. And it's done the job for me so far. So the first component here that's lit up here, this is the power supply. So that's what takes my uh, AC power, it's 220 volts here in Europe, and turns it into DC power that the stepper motors take. Um, the other thing here, you see these four black things. Those are the stepper motor drivers. Those are actually what send the power to the motors. And then this here, this little small board here, is the brains of the operation. This is a little Arduino, and that tells basically the stepper motor drivers how many steps the motor should go. Um, here I've got my stepper motors. This is just from Stepper Online. We have a DM54T stepper motor driver. I actually have four of them because I have four motors or three axes because I actually have two motors on the Y axis to make sure it stays nice and square because I don't have a super rigid um, gantry here. So the two motors help keep it nice and square. Yeah, and all the stepper motors are these. I think they're NEMA 20. Let's see here. I forget exactly the model of the stepper motors here. The NEMA 20 something. There's the, there's the actual output here. But that's the stepper motor, so it basically knows, the only thing it knows is how many steps to go. And the stepper motors then just move along these tracks um, to move left and right. Um, so yeah, really simple operation. It's basically the same as a 3D printer, except instead of adding material, adding filament like a 3D printer does, it just cuts material away. And it does with this, with this router right here. This is just a standard wood router, a more advanced CNC machine. A more advanced CNC machine would have an uh, actual spindle, which you can control the speed of with, G with your G-code as well. Um, but that was a little bit too advanced for me, I guess. Um, but yeah, basically once you have a part here, you can just see here I have an example of one of my parts for, for the catamaran. Basically what you do is you take it over here and you just have to hit play. And then everything starts moving here. So you can see stuff starts moving away. And if it was actually wanted to cut out things right now, it would um, router right beyond make a lot of noise and it would actually be cutting into the foam. And uh, yeah, that's basically how it works. So this table here in the CNC machine in my basement is basically where all the parts start. They first get, first the foam core here gets cut out um, and then it gets holes punched in it and then they all got in vacuum infused, um, which you probably saw in some of my other videos and then they're ready to go on the boat. So it's really as easy as that. I'll be sure to add some links in the description to some of the software I use and some of the learning resources I use to get uh, used to working with CNCs. Um, yeah, and if you like, if you like sort of machining and you like computers and technology, I can really recommend that you try maybe building a smaller CNC machine to start or a 3D printer or something like that because it's a lot of fun um, and, and you really get to see how they work from the inside out, which is quite cool. Yeah, and if you have any questions about how my CNC machine works or anything like that, I'm happy to answer them in the comments, so leave them down below.